From Mombasa County, let's uh, cross over to Kwale County, still at the coast where my colleague, Kibak Said, has been keeping a keen eye on uh, the engineers' convention that has been for the better part of this weekend, brings us this live report. Hibak Said, good afternoon. Thank you, Ben Troy and Joy in Nairobi. We're coming to you live from Kwale County on the last day of the IEK convention where the heat is competing with the resolutions that they have been making. Engineers have been convening here from Monday and they, of course, have tabled a couple of things that they want, policies that they want to be implemented so that we can ensure that they have a streamlined sector and, of course, we can avoid mishaps that we have been seeing in the recent past. With me, I have Engineer Kiteme. If you could just tell us, what are some of the resolutions that you have been making and what are some of the things that you have been endorsing that should be taken up? Absolutely. So today marked the end of the IEK International Convention, which is 29 the uh, convention. And uh, we were able to come up with resolutions touching on various aspects that we were considering in this convention. Among them is the fact that uh, we will enhance capacity building to ensure employability of young engineers and uh, package them to meet the industry requirements. We have also had sessions for men and women and we are looking at uh, uh, taking care of men engineers in terms of um, uh, mental health and stress management because this is affecting uh, basically mental health as courage right now. We have also had resolutions touching on uh, sustainable engineering to make sure that climate vulnerability are considerations that we are, are going to have going forward uh, to achieve sustainable engineering in this era of climate change. We have resolutions touching on uh, uh, increasing uh, the number of professional engineers to 10,000 by the year 2027 and a couple of other resolutions touching on uh, you know, acceding to Washington Accord so that we can achieve international mobility for Kenyan engineers. So it has been a rich uh, session from Monday up to today and we are grateful uh, the convention came to a successful end today. Engineer Kiteme, one of the resolutions that have been tabled is the adoption of nuclear energy. What is your stance on this and what do you think should be done by the government in order to fast track the adoption of this energy? Absolutely, a lot of steps have been taken towards uh, uh, achieving, uh, uh, making Kenya nuclear status and we are grateful for the steps we have made so far. The government needs to accelerate this without stopping. A couple of them of course involves compliance with the uh, uh, measures put in by IEA so that when you comply with them then when you have the nuclear technology it is safe and we are going to have more reliable supply of uh, power in this country and so yes we have gone through the safety considerations the compliance requirements that are required for nuclear uh, power and we are certified that we are on the right course to achieve that as a country yes Engineer Kiteme, if you could just indulge us and tell us, there's been a really good collaboration between you, the IEK, and the EBK. What do you think has brought this about, and how do you think you can collaborate more with the regulator in order to ensure that things are run smoothly? Well, IEK I mean, and EBK have been cooperating. EBK board has uh, 10 board members. Only two of them are not engineers. That means... 90% of EBK board members are members of IEK. And we also second the president and three more uh, board members. And so our partnership has been very healthy. We have uh, capacity building uh, sessions that equip our members. By law, you cannot become a professional engineer if you're not a, a corporate member of IEK. And that means our partnership is, you know, symbiotic. Because then we are able to grow the capacity of uh, our members. We are able to grow even the numbers of uh, engineers in Kenya. Uh, and we, we offer CPD points uh, for, uh, for our members who are also registered with EBK. So this partnership has been healthy and is going to continue uh, into the future.
Thank you so much, Engineer Kitame. And of course, it's not just the engineers who have convened here, but also other players within the sector, especially in the manufacturing sector. With me, I have one of the exhibitors who have been able to showcase what they can be doing and, of course, growing the manufacturing sector. Sir, if you could just introduce yourself, what is your name and what institution do you represent? Thank you very much. My name is Clement Kitetu. I work for the Institute of Applied Project Management. We are a knowledge transfer partner with um, IEK and MPK and we've been here exhibiting and trying to show the products that we have and now we streamline project management. Now we help them to be able to streamline their work and to increase organizational efficiency in terms of project management. Uh, they've, of course, endorsed during this five-day convention a multi-sectoral approach in order to streamline all operations. If you could just tell us, what are some of the things that you're going to be doing for the engineering sector in order to make this happen? I think one of the things I would like, want to do is to commend the resolutions that the engineers have made. And in our, in our area of uh, specialization, we are going to help them to be able to move the project management element because project management helps to make uh, dreams a reality and that is what we are doing we are in partnership with PMI project management institute that is the biggest uh, global project management organization and project management is a movement and we are going to help them to be able to adopt more project management while they deliver on their promises and of course project management is a very important factor Ben Troy and Jue, especially in realizing infrastructural development in the country and he's not the only exhibitor we've had other exhibitors who are within the manufacturing sector who are helping engineers in order to ensure that the Kenyan dream is achieved and vision 2030 is actualized but for now back to you in studio Ben Troy